All right, y'all, I am back talking about books. <laughs> so I got some new books in the mail. I told y'all I had some more books coming and they are here. Again, majority of the books I do get are going to be from thrift books and I go from the bottom to the top. So I start with thrift books with purchasing my books and then sometimes I'll try to go on, what's the other websites I go on trying to find cheap books? I can't think of them right now, but I go to thrift books. Oh, I'm sorry. I go to Goodwill and try to find the books, Goodwill and other thrift stores around my city. And then I, I go to thrift, I go to thrift books. Then I go to Amazon and of course they're going to have it. If they don't have it, then I got to go to Barnes and Nobles. And that's the last place. I go to get a book because they're so expensive there. But nine times out of 10, I don't mind books from Goodwill and I don't mind books from the thrift store. So these books came from thrift books. I do have one book that I got from um, Amazon because I knew thrift books wasn't going to have it. But let's dive into the books I got. Okay, Let's see what's in this first one. This first one has four books in it. So let's see what we got. Oh, they got me a little $100 wine voucher for some wine from Naked Wines. That's sweet. Thanks, Thrift Books. This is so sweet. Even though I don't drink wine, I'm still going to get it and probably give this to somebody. Okay, the first book I got. This book was recommended to me. It was on my Pinterest list to read The Girl of Ink and Stars. This is the first book. And I'm not going to say these names of these authors because I don't want to get them wrong. But you can look it up yourself. <laughs> the first book is The Girl of Ink and Stars. Again, this was on my Pinterest list because it got recommended to me by somebody I know I trust when they give me book recommendations. <laughs> the next book I got is by Walter Dean Myers. Oh my God. Malcolm X by Any Means Necessary. Y'all, let's get into it. This was the book that got me into reading. This book right here. Okay. Walter Dean Myers was my favorite author when I was a teenager. I read all his books. I actually have five copies of his books and he signed all of them. Unfortunately, he won't sign this one because he did pass away a couple of years ago. But my mom did take me to see him and he signed my books. <laughs> the next book I got, it doesn't need an introduction. Look at it, y'all. What does that say? This is the first Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I know this was the first book that J.K. Rowling wrote. It was originally Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone before it was the Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm excited to dive into this one and relive my middle school years. <laughs> it's just some books I wanted a part of my collection and this was one of them. The next book, Room. This is a book that was recommended to me from my book club on Facebook. So I'm excited to read this book. I heard it was really, really good. If I'm not mistaken, it is a psychological thriller. So I heard really, really good reviews about this one. So I'm excited to dive into this one. Dive and see what we got. I like to open it upside. I like to pull the books out upside down so I can, you know, know for the first time what's in these packages with you guys. All right. Doesn't need an introduction. It was big when it came out on Netflix. Bird Box. Again, I did not know Bird Box was a book. So I wanted to get it because I love the movie so much. I wanted to read it and dig deep because you know books tell more than the movies. Okay. So I definitely wanted to add this to my collection because I love the movie so much. And next we have The Girl with the Louding Voice. This was a book that was recommended to me through my book club and I had it on my Pinterest list. So I wanted to add it to my collection and read it and see what it's all about. The next book I got is Still House Lake. I'm sure this is a psychological thriller just by looking at the cover and I'm for sure recommended to me by a book club member, Big Little Lies. So this one I got, all these books I got out of thrift books. Again, I only got one book that was not on thrift books. Big Little Lies was recommended to me from somebody in my book club. Had it on my Pinterest board and I wanted to purchase it because it looked like it's going to be good. And I had, I heard really great reviews about this book. So 
<laughs> okay, y'all. Before I show y'all this book, child, I'm going to give y'all a little backstory about it. I read, so the book I'm about to show y'all is a book of short stories. I remember when I was in the 10th grade, this girl was sitting next to me and she knew I loved books. She was like, Fontaine. I was like, what you reading? So she showed me the book. She was like, oh, it's the book about short stories. And the author, I know very well. And you do too. <laughs> so we know he's a great writer. So I was like, ooh, what is that book about? She was like, oh, it's short stories. So like each chapter is a different story. She was like, I'm going to have you read a chapter that's going to make you fall in love with this book. She gave me a chapter and I read it right there in like 15 minutes. Y'all. I'm 36. At the time, I was like, what, 16? I never forgot the book. And I never forgot the story. Now, I forgot the title of the book, but I never forgot the story. And I never forgot the author's name because he's a famous, famous, famous author. So I couldn't forget his name, but I couldn't remember the book. So I went into my book club and I got the typing. I was like, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm looking for this book by this author. It's a book of short stories. And one of the stories this happened in. Can y'all help me? Because I want to read the entire book. There is no introduction that needs to happen. Because y'all know he's a writer. Okay? <laughs> Baby, y'all don't play with Stephen King. Don't play with him. Everything's eventual. 14 dark stories. That means there are 14 chapters in this book of different stories. Everything's eventual. I am so happy. I can't wait to dive into this book, y'all. I would say this could be my next read, but I want to like, when I start on this book, I don't want nobody bothering me. Don't call me. Don't text me. No. The answer is no. So don't ask. If you want to pick up days and take days from me off my schedule, do that because I won't be at home reading this book. Hmm. <laughs> but y'all, I love this book. Like I said, I've only read one chapter, one story out of the book, but I'm excited to dive in because I love spooky stories. Okay. <laughs> so let <that'd> be. <laughs> like when I tell y'all, I don't know. I remember the cover and I was like, I got the picture of the cover in my head. So if somebody sends me the cover, I'll know it's that. Y'all, I for real, for real, I literally went inside my group chat of my book club and I was like, hey, there's a book by Stephen King that I read when I was like 16 and I can't remember the name of it. I remember it's a book of short stories. I don't want to tell y'all which story out of the book she had me read, but baby, if you a reader, if you like psychological thrillers, you like things that make your heart go boom, 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 boom. This the boot. Screenshot. Okay. <laughs> so one last book. I already know what book this is. And it's hardcover. I didn't know it was going to be hardcover. Okay. <laughs> and this was the last of my orders. I don't have, well, no. I got one more book coming. And that's book. That's a book I know that me and my friend are reading together. Okay, this came from Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all about this book. Tell y'all about this book. So when I was a teenager again, everybody knew I loved reading. My friend, my friends in my neighborhood, their mom loved reading too. My friends, I didn't have a lot of friends that were readers. But one of my friends in the neighborhood, their mom loved to read too. And we used to swap books back and forth. That is so weird. She didn't have nobody to talk to about books but me. So she she had got done with this book and she gave it to me. She was like, Fontaine, you got to read this book. It's so good. So that's what we used to do. Y'all, she gave me this book. I finished it in three days because it was good. When I tell you, like my heart was jumping out my chest because it was so good. Shades of Justice. This book is so underrated. Like, I can't wait to read it again because I'm an adult now. So, oh, it was so good. I never forget the name of it. Shades of Justice is so underrated. I don't hear nobody in my book club ever talking about this book. It's an oldie, but it's a good one. Okay. Some of y'all may recognize the, um, the author, 
But again, she's not really like well known or whatever. But I don't understand how this book didn't blow up. Like, oh, it's good. Y'all, it's good. This book good. So if you never heard of this book, which I'm sure you haven't, because again, this book is not well known. Add this one to your red to your to be red list. Add this one to your list, girl. Trust me. Hey, look at me. Trust me. It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> okay, okay. So that is it in my new books that I just got um, in the mail. The next time I come on the video and come on here and talk to y'all, I'll be doing a book review because I am reading two books right now. One of them I'm about to finish tonight and I'm going to type out my review and I'll come back here, here and talk about it. Okay. See y'all later.